another term you may see uh, included in your sleep study is O2 saturation. So what is your O2 saturation? What should my O2 saturation be? What we're looking at is when you're having the apneas, when you're having the hypopneas, how is that affecting your oxygen levels? So uh, say, just for example, for the video, your oxygen level is on average 97%. You go to sleep, it's running 96%. You're fine, okay? When you start to have hypopneas or when you start to have apneas, you'll see a percentage drop in this oxygen level. You have to have at least a three or four percent drop in your oxygen levels, okay? So when you go in and you look at your sleep study uh, and they say, oh, well, you had 22 hypopneas, you should know automatically that associated with that hypopnea is a three to four percent drop in your oxygen levels. Uh, whoever your technician or therapist is should be able to tell you uh, a low point in your oxygen, how low it went, and kind of what your average is. We don't really like to see anyone's oxygen uh, below 90, below 88 percent is normally the standard. Wasn't a fancy car, wasn't a diamond ring, wasn't friends or lovers at the end of the day. Cause life's hard and it can bring trouble in the midst of this trouble, no one can take it away.